Hello, everybody. Thank you for watching. And uh, we will be live tomorrow night, I believe, uh, Thursday night, 10 p.m. Look for us live and uh, your chance to come on and uh, share your thoughts and your uh, opinions if you so desire, or if you have any questions. Um, thank you so much again for watching. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. We're going to do a quick uh, six things to think about here uh, heading into July 4th. And um, let's get to it. Um, we've talked about the possibility of uh, events happening uh, in Washington, D.C. Uh, on July 4th. And uh, there's a group. Uh, okay, I'm not going to play the video here with the commercial on it anyway. There's a group called the uh, 1776 Restoration Movement. Uh, they have been, uh, for the last three or four months, they've been stationed outside of uh, Washington, D.C., and we've talked about them on here before. Uh, they are planning something for the uh, the Fourth of July, there are uh, organizations in every state, um, and a lot of them are heading to Washington D.C. Of course, Washington D.C. incredibly busy on the Fourth of July weekend. A lot of places already fenced off. A lot of uh, tents are up. A lot of preparations already underway. So we'll keep an eye on what's going on there. Um, as we head into the 4th of July weekend, just one, especially those of you in that, uh, in that Beltway area out there around uh, Washington, DC, because I know we've got some listeners and viewers from out there, head on a swivel as always. Uh, just some things to think about here. Um, number one, on the 4th or the 21st day of uh, April, a plane crashed into the General Mills plant in Georgia. On the 19th of April, fire destroyed an Azure Standard headquarters in Oregon, the largest independent food distributor in the United States. On April the 14th, Taylor Farms Packaging Building in Salinas, California deemed a total loss. We've covered most of these, but I just found this list and wanted to uh, just kind of show you all um, in a, in, in a distinctive pattern, what might be happening here. 413, a plane crashes into the Idaho potato and food processing plant. Processing plant. We, we, as I said, we've covered all of these. In one month, in less than a 10 day period, two planes crash into food processing plants. Something to think about. 411, crews battle fire for 16 hours at East Conway Beef and Pork in New Hampshire. Massive warehouse fire at large fresh onion packaging facility in South Texas back in April. Massive potato processing plant fire in Belfast, Maine back in April. Fire destroys Walmart distribution center right here in Indiana back in April. 50,000 pounds of food destroyed after fire ripped through Maricopa Arizona Food Pantry, seven injured in explosion as fire engulfs Shearer's Food Plant in Hermston, Oregon. Louis Dreyfus reports fire at largest U.S. soy processing plant once again here in Indiana back in February. Explosion and fire reported at Cargill Neutrella Feed Mill in Lecompton, Louisiana in uh, January. And then uh, Union Pacific uh, significantly, significantly, significantly cuts fertilizer uh, shipments during spring planting season. And uh, let me see if I can. Possibilities that uh, cause it okay. could be uh, due to the magnetic. And the, uh, the culling of the um, chicken and turkey flocks because of the bird flu. Um, somebody messing with the food supply intentionally? Something to think about. West Coast dock workers demand an immediate vote for strike action that came 15 hours ago. Uh, 
why is this significant? Will there be a dock worker strike on West Coast ports? Business groups demand Biden administration intervene. These are from these are from June. Okay, these this is not old news. Uh, we've touched on this in the past. Dock workers strike at six German ports. What West Coast ports labor negotiations mean for you? Um, new supply chain risk as dock workers who may strike. Why does all this matter? The dock workers contract ends July the 1st. Just something to think about. Summer fuel shortages could be worse than the 1970s oil crisis. Inflation is going to get worse, blaming a lack of diesel. Um, I haven't done the Google. And uh, actually, let's just go ahead and, and do it here real quick while while we're uh, while we're watching flight cancellations for July Fourth weekend. Five hundred plus flights have been canceled as of Wednesday. Uh, ahead of the holiday, already canceling flights for this coming weekend. What's that mean? Um, that means more people are going to be driving this weekend to go where they were planning on flying, potentially. That means more gas is going to be used this weekend than might have been anticipated, potentially. What this means for us Keep our gas tanks full. Keep our gas tanks full ahead of this weekend because there will probably be fuel shortages. They're talking right now that um, the diesel is going to be gone in eight weeks. If the diesel's gone, the truckers are gone. If the truckers are gone, goods and, and supplies are not being shipped in. Again, just giving you things to think about. We talked last night in the last episode, and I'll put a link to it if you haven't seen it. Go back and watch it. It's got a bunch of great stuff in it. Uh, it's commercial free, by the way. Hopefully, this one hasn't offended um, in such a manner as uh, nobody will uh, want to put a commercial at the front of it because, uh, um, you know, we need we need to have every little nickel and dime come in, and that's basically what it does. But anyway, that's beside the point. We talked about the fact that something might be going on at Mount Shasta in California, and how uh, the USGA or USGS had uh, repositioned the camera so you couldn't see what was going on, but there was visible smoke and steam coming up from the mountain. Well. A local news uh, service in California is now trying to say there's an underground fire at the Mount Shasta volcano, and that must be what is causing the steam and smoke to come out of the ground up on the side of the peak. Um, why would they do that? Why would they? Why would they try to hide a potential um, volcano that was thought to be inactive? becoming active again why would they hide that m-o-n-e-y uh that area if you do a little research that area whole bunch of rich people are trying to build resorts and uh housing communities around that beautiful majestic area um and they may not be able to get financing they may not be able to get people to buy the property if they if they have any indication that it, there's a volcano right next door? Something to think about. And finally, we're gonna go in deep on this, uh, not on this episode, this is a quickie, as I said. Um, uh, a quick episode, okay? Lambda, L-A-M-D-A, is an AI baby that will outrun its parent Google. This is from two days ago. Lambda, the AI ha hired a lawyer. The story of Lambda and the Google engineer just got even stranger. Uh, Google's controversial AI, AI is artificial intelligence. 
Google's, Google's controversial AI bot story keeps getting more wild. One day AI will seem as human as anyone. Then what? We're gonna get in depth in this, as I said uh, at the moment, just giving you some things to think about as we get ready to head into the July 4th weekend. Weekend gas prices all, always go up. Uh, holiday gas prices, there's always an increase as we get to the week, as we get to holiday weekends. We got a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, four day weekend coming up for a lot of people here. It's Wednesday. Advice of the day, gas up today. Fill up your tank today for tomorrow. The prices will go up. Thank you so very much for watching this uh, quick edition of some things to think about. Six things to think about heading into, uh, heading into the July 4th weekend. We'll be on tomorrow night at 10 p.m. live Eastern Daylight Time and uh, hope you'll join us for a live broadcast and uh, become part of uh, what we're trying to do here, uh, sharing truth and uh, talking about things that don't get talked about enough. All right. I love y'all. Thank you so very much for watching. Namaste. Shalom. Salam. Asamaam. Asamaam Alaikum. Blessings of upon each and every one of you, peace. And if you're a Christian, blessings in the, the spirit that was given from the son of the one true living God. Blessings be upon all of you. I love you all. Until next time, hit the like, hit the subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think at the bottom. And uh, don't, don't hesitate to share this and spread the word, okay? Uh, cash app dollar sign American Doofus if you want to help if you want to email American Doofus at gmail.com it's a dark world do try to be a light stay cool stay safe there are a lot of crazy people out there I love y'all until next time